with Masani from Masani Live, and I want to take this time out to answer an email about my locks and working out. So, to answer your question, um, I do work out, and basically my locks don't stop me from working really out. Really don't make excuses for getting my workout. And at 52, this is part of my health package. I'm extremely responsible when it comes to my activities in life. I really want to. In in, enjoy my life and the quality of my life and I don't take medication so I really make fitness a priority it's very important it's up there so I work out but as far as my hair I don't put any chemicals in it I don't really like you know I don't really do anything I wash it once a, once a month which is so and um, I don't buy any products at the you know at the over-the-counter products in my hair um, if I do put some oil in, I'll put some coconut oil in, you know, cold pressed coconut oil, but not even that much. Just a little spritz on the gray area. And um, again, we got to talk about the gray, but I don't put any chemicals or process in my hair. I want to, you know, like I said, so I just do a vinegar rinse. I don't do the twisting. And if I do do the twisting, it's a Bantu knot for a shoot. Um, I do do fitness modeling, so I do at times have to style up the hair. Just do a little bantu knot here and there, but no, no, no pulling on the follicles, no pulling on the scalp. And about my gray hair, um, I love my gray. It's my gray. I don't dye it. Now I know some of the sisters, and I did a survey on my page about gray. A lot of sisters say they're not ready. They're not ready for the gray. And that's and that's a that's a that's an individual thing but i'm ready for whatever life throws my way I'm, you know when you get lemons you make lemonade but i embrace it and i also embrace me being a uh, a woman who has really has gotten comfortable in my appearance as far as my hair i don't really fancy it up or go to a a, a loctician and somebody twisting and doing my hair i kind of just throw it up there and let it you know let it do what it's going to do type of thing you know and i kind of just like throw some confidence in there bam and um, people are like yo I'm feeling the hair, you know what I'm saying? Because it's more than just the hair that they're feeling. They're feeling a vibe, and the vibe is real. What works for me is my, my consumption of food. It's not so much what you put on the skin, it's what you put in the body, because what, what's, what, what, what you put in is gonna come out. I drink a lot of water, hydration, keep my skin nice and, you know, hydrated. Don't put a lot of oil on the skin either. Kind of just really just do my avocados, get my natural foods that way. And as some of you know, I'm a vegan of raw fooders. I know you don't like labels, but I don't eat cooked food. I have been like not eating cooked food in about oh, like oh, 10 years. I kind of went vegan and then went raw. It was, it was a transition that was very challenging, but based on you know me having health issues, I decided to use the food as medicine. The, the food definitely works for me. And also switching my location, coming out of a stressful area, in New York and pulling into police and really spending more time in vitamin D the sun so the combination of back to my hair and working out uh, no I don't have any issues of working out and sweating I, I really embrace the sweat I'll just you know go home and take a shower but the sweat is natural it's like the body's air condition is cooling down my body and I'm grateful that everything is working the way it's supposed to be working my hair is an extension of who I am I feel great my body feels great so my hair is definitely a reflection of how I really work out it actually helps the hair grow because it's pushing things out you know that sweat is pushing things out. answer the question if not hit me back and I'll hit you off DM and I'll just you know email you or text you and let you know but uh that's it all right everybody Peace.